Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a bit of a random one. It is halfway through the day and I was gonna vlog this morning, but I sounded really groggy this morning. I've had a really horrible cold, so I thought I would pick up the camera. Now, because I asked on Instagram, I did a little question box and got you guys to ask me some questions. So I'm just gonna answer them. But whilst I'm doing that, I'm actually just gonna cook myself some lunch. I've done some kebab chicken yesterday and I'm just gonna have that. So I'm just gonna prepare it and answer the questions. As we go along, there's no order to this whatsoever. It's really, really random. So the first one is, how are your teeth so white? <laughs> I'm just putting a pizza in the toaster. Yeah, I actually don't feel like my teeth are that white anymore. They were a lot whiter when I first saw them whitened in Turkey. So Matt, my husband, sounds really weird saying. He got his teeth done in Turkey. He got four set of an ears. And whilst I was there, I got my teeth whitened. So that is the reason why my teeth are whiter than normal i guess i definitely want to go back he's got to go back at some point and have something fixed on his veneers that they couldn't do when we were there so we have got to go back i'm probably going to have them whitened again when we're there because when they were first whitened oh my god like it was unreal definitely a little bit sensitive that is in one of my vlogs so if you do want to go watch that then i think it's in the turkey vlog it was in march last year so um go and watch that if you want to see the whole process of me actually having them whitened the next question is, do you want children? And yes, I think so. I think that is the answer. Um, I have a niece and a nephew who I'm so, so close to. I absolutely love spending time with them. They are like the best things in my life. Like watching them grow is honestly the most unreal thing to me. They are so funny. Florence is two and Ezra will be one soon. Yeah, they're just like a little bundle of joy. I love them literally so much. Whenever I message my sister saying, hey, are you free? She's like, um, yeah I'm free and the kids are also free because she knows that I basically just want to go and see the kids yes I think I do want children I think me and Matt are on the same page with when we would want children we're still in the process of renovating this house and I will do an updated house tour really soon because I know a lot of you have been asking questions on that my pit is done I think that's really important that you and your partner are on the same page when it comes to children I feel like at the prime age of nearly 27, which is very sad, I'm going to be 27 in a couple of weeks. Um, I honestly thought when I was younger that I would be 25 married with two kids by now. But it's just not how it's panned out and I'm absolutely fine with that. Don't feel ready at all. I love it just being me and Matt and that might sound really weird to some people. But we just have the best time together. And I am so fine with not sharing him just yet. I swear pitters are always the hottest things to cut. Right, let's cut this. What's the next question? What's your tips on saving and renovating while saving for a deposit? I'm guessing that means a house. There are no tips and tricks. It is the, probably one of the worst things I've ever had to do in my life. This is mine and Matt's second property together. So the first one we renovated, we literally ripped a roof off. We, I think we left about three walls um, in the whole house, including the exterior walls. So. There wasn't a lot left of the bungalow that we first bought. But I would say the only way that we got around to doing it is I was working literally around the clock and Matt was renovating it at the time. So at that moment in time, we didn't have to pay any labor on renovating it, which was great because obviously Matt is a builder and he could do it all himself. There is literally no tips on saving. I'm probably the worst person to ask advice for when it comes to saving. There is no right or way, wrong way of doing it. There's also no right or wrong way of how much you need for a deposit. But I would always suggest if you're looking to buy your first property, then definitely just go and have a meeting with a mortgage advisor because we had no idea what we were able to borrow until we had a meeting with our mortgage advisor. Right, my pizza is cooked. Tomato. A brief tomato. Tatsiki chicken and cucumber. The next question is, have you had Botox? The answer for that is a big fat yes, I have had Botox. It is probably the best thing I've ever had done. I need it done again. Um, we're getting some lines on here. So I am actually seeing my Botox lady in a few weeks, which I'm very excited about. She is the best person ever she just knows what i like how i like it but yes i have had botox um but i have touched on that in a previous video but obviously my dms are always open if anyone wants to ask me 
any questions, but I'm an open book here. I keep no secrets, I do not gatekeep. I hope this isn't annoying, like me doing my dinner at the same time as just having a casual conversation with you. The next question is, I want the same hair color as you, but I don't know what to ask my hairdresser. Um, I am now a little bit grown out, as you can see, having my hair up probably isn't the best way to show my hair because it looks very dark but I went coppery in September I'm now working my way to go lighter again so I would say ask for like a really high balayage I've got some like face framing pieces as well which makes me feel a little bit longer than what I actually am not that you can see that at all at the moment it is looking very dark but yeah that is what I have done to my hair just like a full head of high balayage that's what I would ask for. What is your skincare and makeup routine? If you want me to go into that a bit more, I absolutely will. It is not that interesting at all. I have the same routine. I always say, don't fix what is not broken. Um, my skin can be really problematic with my skincare. I have a CeraVe face cleanser. I always double cleanse with that. Toner that I'm using at the moment, which is the Mario Besky toner my moisturizer is origins ginseng and that is literally it that is my routine um my makeup i would say it varies on like foundation sometimes i use like a skin tint sometimes i use a foundation today i have the bobby brown i think it's the skin tint on and it is gorgeous and then i use the refi bronzer i was a chanel bronzer like through and through for the longest time and then just hunt decided to bring out that bronzer that it's just so good and i also use a refi blusher i'm using tatty lashes at the moment just in between lash extension appointments i've actually not had lash extensions since we got married in vegas so it's been a really long time but i have actually booked in for my birthday because I thought I deserve a treat. And this is my little Greek wrap that I've got going on. Okay, I am back from my little lunch break. Margot wants to come say hi. Um, goals for this year. I actually haven't set myself any really serious goals for this year. I never really do. I just see how the year goes. And yeah, I don't really have any goals. I never really stick to them so they annoy me because if I don't stick to them then I feel like I have failed my own goals. So yeah, no goals for this year. Travel plans. My travel plans for this year, my holidays actually start in two weeks which I'm so excited about. Get me out of this horrible rainy weather. If you can hear tip tapping. Here's Bruce. Me and Matt are actually off to Egypt in two weeks for my birthday which i'm so so excited about went to egypt two years ago with emily and brad and had the best time so we thought we'd go back guaranteed sunshine is we are going to a different area to what we went to last time this takes me on to another question actually which was when is your first wedding anniversary and it is on the 5th of april and then that takes me back to the last question bringing us to april and that will be mine and Matt's first wedding anniversary. And we have never actually done a honeymoon. So we would love to go somewhere and do a honeymoon. Not really sure where yet. Um, I think we've got about two weeks spare. So it will be somewhere for two weeks, just the two of us on a little honeymoon. Yeah, so lots of travel plans this year. I'm sure we'll be able to squeeze in a few more as well. We love a holiday. One of the questions is, are you and Emily still friends? And I feel like I get this all the time. And yes, we are still friends. I see Emily most weeks. I've just been to Starbucks with her. I feel like because we have a friendship that's not on social media as well as a social media friendship, I feel like when we don't post each other for a little while, people think that we're not friends. But yeah, we are definitely, definitely still friends. A question I got asked a lot actually is, how long have you and Matt actually been together? And we have been together for 11 years, I think. I think it'll be 12 years this year. I always forget, so bad. Yeah, it'll be 12 years this June that we've been together. So we were super duper young when we got together. I was 15 and I think Matt was just turning 16. So we have been together a long, long time. Everyone always says it's so rare to come across two people that have been together for so long and so young as well. But it's just nice that like, we've just grown older together. Like sometimes you either grow together or separate. 
and luckily for us we've grown together and we've just wanted the same things in life at the same times but yeah they are all the questions there are a few others that sort of fall into the same category i thought i would just do a little q a because i haven't in a while and just wanted to know what you guys want to know as well it's always easy to know that actually someone has asked the question to know what i'm answering but that is all the questions for today and i think i'm just going to bring you guys along for the rest of my afternoon so i've just got a nail appointment at four o'clock and the gym later i probably won't bring you guys to the gym just because that was in my last vlog me and matt went to the gym and i've checked on the session and there is 40 people on the class so it's going to be a busy one i'm going to get these nails done they have lasted me so well I've been going two weeks, but I think I'm going to start going every three weeks just because they don't even look like they need to be touched. I went for ombre last time because I couldn't decide what I wanted and Lauren, my nail tech, is the best in the business. Maybe we'll go for something crazier today, but she does like the most amazing nail art and I feel like I'm a wasted client on her. She's not putting her full skills to the test with me when I ask for just an ombre or an all over colour, so... I wish this could be like a live video so you could like tell me what to have but I will obviously bring you guys along on that. I don't think I've actually brought you to a nail appointment before. I thought I would show you my outfit that I'm wearing today. I did have my bag on me but I'm home now so I don't need it on. Let me move you. I have got on a white t-shirt from Primark. This blazer's from Primark as well. And then I've got these brown and pink joggers. And I bloody love these. They are so comfortable. And every time I wear them, I just feel very put together. Like I've got my shit together. Definitely haven't. But I do feel like I have when I wear these. Like I'm wearing joggers. I'm comfy. But I look like I've put a full on outfit together. These earrings are from Primark as well. I'm really loving Primark at the moment. And I've just opened a parcel from Gymshark. How cute are these? So freaking cute. I think they're like a new collection that Gymshark have out and I haven't worn or bought anything from Gymshark in the longest time. But I saw these and thought they were really cute. I looked at the Ganny ones. Um, Ganny have a leopard print pair of cycling shorts and crop and they're very nice but they're very expensive and I just thought these were just a nice alternative. But yeah, I will pick you guys up. I'm just going to make a cup of tea now and I'll pick you up when I am at my nail appointment. I've just been sat editing and I've realised I've now got 10 minutes to get to my nail appointment. I'm running late. Thank God Lauren doesn't live that far away from me. This rain is relentless. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the nails. What do we do? I looked on Pinterest and... They've, I saw some like cute leopard print tips but I don't know if my nails are long enough to have a tip like that. Do I start to grow them? I love a French tip. Looks so clean, so crisp. I just really enjoy. Maybe I'll just get a French tip but I will catch up with you when I'm at my appointment. Okay, I think I've decided on what I'm gonna have done to my nails. So this is the vibe. I don't think my nails are long enough for that. I'll see what Lauren says, but I might just have this leopard print all over. We'll see what I actually end up with. I'll probably end up with another ombre because I'm a basic bitch. I am home from my nail appointment and this is what we went for. Leopard print tips. They're really cute. My camera is now flashing red. I was going to bring you guys to the gym. Camera's got other ideas. Um, I'm going to round this part of the vlog off here. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press that bell button to make sure that you don't miss any of my uploads. And I will speak to you guys really, really soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.